as we prepare ourselves for the summer season. It is time for cookouts in the family gathering. There are quite a few parks in the area. Today, we're following the historical parks of the James River and the Chesapeake Bay. We start traveling the rivers. Let's discuss a little history about where the name James River and Chesapeake Bay Native Americans originally named the James River the Potomac River. At the arrival of the English in 1607, the river was named after King James I. The Powhatan Indians called the Chesapeake Bay the Great Shellfish Bay. Most of the parks on the James River and Chesapeake Bay are historical parks and are over 200 years old. English man John Smith conducted exploration of the Chesapeake Bay and the James River between 1607 and 1609. The James River and Chesapeake Bay. They are beautiful. They are full of life. Over the generations, they have been the gathering place. The rivers of many water baptism and the place to gather food. The first park I'm recommending is Fort Monroe. It is along the Chesapeake Bay. It recently became open to the public. The first fort that was built in this area was built in 1609. It held 50 colonial settlers. It became a slave port for African Americans. In 1819, they began to construct the fort and named it after James Monroe, the fifth president of the United States. In 1861, on May the 23rd, some slaves escaped Norfolk, Virginia. They were held in Fort Monroe as contraband of war. One of the slaves' name was James S. Field. James S. Field, after the war, became a teacher and lawyer. He then became a member of the Virginia House of Delegates from 1889 to 1890. This is James S. Fields' original home. Not only is Fort Monroe a historical park, but it also has a pier where you can fish. complete with a lifeguard station. This is the largest cookout shelter in the park. It comes with a smokehouse. They have pic 
picnic tables, and more shelters. The state of Virginia was part of the first 13 colonies that were formed by the English settlers in 1607. They also have a new campground. All they need is you.